Good afternoon and welcome to BBC School Report. Today, me, Kristen, and me, Esme, will be discussing the dramatic, heartbreaking story about Maria Sharapova. Sharapova has recently failed a drug test for Maldonium, a heart disease medicine. Her ban officially started on the 12th of March 2016. However, her verdict has not been given. The Russian Golden Girls drug that she's been taking for the past 10 years fits into the category of hormone and metabolic modulators that account for about 5% of doping in sports in 2014, according to CNN. The drugs that are banned are split into stimulants and steroids. As of January 1st, melodonium was added to the list of prohibited substances in sport, but Maria didn't know. <laughs> On the 8th of March 2016, 28-year-old Sharapova admitted to failing her drug test regarding the Australian Open. She hopes this will not be her career-ending move. Everyday medicines are also prohibited, such as... Hey, female. Hi, Chanel. Thanks for letting us ask you a few questions. Have you ever taken hay fever tablets? No. Have you ever taken... Tablets, inhaler, caffeine... Sore throat tablets, Tums, which is indigestion pills, strep sores, nasal sprays, travel sickness pills, paracetamol, Nurofen, Benelin and Beecham's. We asked a few students if they had ever taken any of the previous substances and they were surprised with the facts they were prohibited in. Hi Abe, we're just going to ask you a few questions. Firstly, have you taken any hay fever tablets before? Yeah, because I used to have hay fever. Have you ever taken an inhaler? Yeah, because I used to have asthma. Caffeine? No, because I don't go. Well, yeah, because I had tea and stuff like that. Sore throat sweets? Yeah, but I don't don't even have a sore throat most of the time. Have you ever taken Tums? What's that? <laughs> Indigestion tablets? No. Strep sores? Yeah. N nasal spray? Yeah. Travel sickness pills. No. Paracetamol. Yeah. Neurofen. Yeah. Benelin. No. Like cough medicine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Beecham's, like Lemsip. Uh, yeah. Cocaine. No. Okay. Did you know that if you take it, if you hi, Ruby, thanks for letting us ask you some questions. Firstly. Have you ever taken any hay fever tablets? No. Have you ever taken an inhaler? No. Like caffeine, so coffee, tea, Coca Cola? Yes. Um, sore throat sweets? Yes. Indigestion tablets? No. Strepsils? Yes. Nasal sprays? Hi, Eden. Thanks for letting us ask some questions. Firstly, have you taken any hay fever tablets? No. Have you taken an inhaler? Yes. Have you taken caffeine to make coke, coffee yeah. or tea? Yeah. Have you taken a, like a sore throat sweet? Yeah. Indigestion tablets? No. Strepsils? Yes. Nasal spray? No. Um, travel sickness pills? No. Paracetamol? No. Neurofen? No. Benelin, like cough medicine? No, I don't think so. Did you know that if you'd taken any of those substances, then you would have been banned from taking part in like the Olympics and other sports events? Really? Yeah. Thanks, uh, Eden. <laughs> Hi, Miss. Um, in light of the recent drug scandal, do you reckon this will be the end of Maria Sharapova's career? I would probably think so because she is 28, 27 years old and four years banned for, for the drugs. I would imagine that by the time she gets back into it that she will be a little bit older. Plus I'm not sure that people will trust her as much as they did in previous years so the sponsorship deals have been taken away. She'll be a little bit older. And then, like I said, I think that the competitors will not have the same faith in her as they did previously. So, yeah, I think it probably is the end for her. Thank you, Miss. Hi, sir. How do you feel about Maria Sharapova's incident with the drugs? Okay. Um, I feel that it's quite 
uh, unfortunate really um, for such a talented sports person who has been taking the drug for a long time. It's probably a misunderstanding to some degree, maybe, um, but it is a recent addition to the um, anti doping policy for, for a sport, so she probably should have researched or got one of her many people to uh, research it and get an updated list. And I'm sure with this whole that's all we've got for today. This is Kristen and Esme from CMS reporting on Maria Sharapova. Thank you and goodbye from BBC School Report. <laughs>